In my carefully curated photo library, I have nearly 40,000 pictures, so I know a thing or two about keeping it all organized. Here are my top five tips in the Photos app. Number one, tag the faces of people you know. Finding great pictures of friends and family is so much easier if your phone knows all their names and can look them up for you. On a Mac, click on the People album in the sidebar. You'll probably find a few faces in there already. Hover the cursor over their little picture here, click and type in a name. If you're on an iPhone, just go to Albums, People, tap on a face, and type in a name at the top. Try and match it to a contact if you can. Now you'll want to scroll down or tap the three dots menu and hit Confirm Additional Photos. This will scan your photo library for pictures it might think are of the same person, and it'll ask you to confirm. As you're browsing through your pictures, you can click View, Show Face Names to turn on labels for faces in the pictures. This makes it really easy to run through your library and tag all the faces as you go. On an iPhone, swipe up on a picture and you'll see tiny faces shown in the bottom left. Tap on each of these to see if it's already been matched to a name. This might seem like a lot of work, but it's really useful for number two, Smarter Search. In the search field, you can find a specific photo by combining things like date, location, business name, objects in the photo, and yes, specific people in the photo. For example, I can search California 2022 Griffin Tim Cook to bring up this picture, which has not been edited in any way, shape, or form. And yes, you can search for objects inside pictures, like keyboard, comma, cat. Number three, copy and paste edits. So if you do a whole photo shoot with your iPhone, they'll all be of the same subject, probably all have similar lighting conditions. If you want to make any edits to those pictures, you might get all caught up in thinking you have to do the same thing for all dozens of pictures you have. On any photo, tap edit, and you're going to make all your adjustments to brightness, contrast, noise reduction, saturation, white point. Before you tap done, tap the three dots menu in the top right, and you're going to tap copy edits. Then you can just swipe to the next picture over, tap the same button, and hit paste edits. Or you can select a whole range of photos and hit paste edits and apply them to all of them at once. It's super fast. Even if you plan on touching these up in Lightroom later, it's a great way to fast forward the editing process and get a bunch of basic stuff done just with a few taps on your phone. Number four, live photo effects. So if you take all your pictures with the iPhone camera and you leave live photos turned on, there's a bunch of cool effects you can apply on them. Just tap the live button in the corner and you have a whole list of effects you can pick from. Loop will play it repeatedly like a GIF. Bounce will play it forwards and then rewind it and play it again repeatedly. And long exposure will turn any movement into a beautiful motion blur. If you ever take a picture of a river or a waterfall, you are legally required to use the long exposure effect. Number five, make sure you're sharing the full quality video before you send it to someone. One of the most infuriating choices Apple ever made is they decided that if you want to send somebody a picture or especially a video over iMessage or AirDrop, it'll just lower the resolution so you won't have the same crisp quality and detail. So after you tap the share button, tap options and check all photos data. You'll want to do this every time because it doesn't stay on. I don't know why. <laughs> and make sure that when you used your phone to take a group picture of your friends and you go to share it with everybody, they're actually getting the full quality picture. So those are all five of my tips today. I have further reading if you're interested on how to turn on shared photo library, how to remove duplicates in your photos, all in links in the video description. I'm D. Griffin Jones with Cult of Mac.